The start of the 2012 Olympic Games kicks off in about a month. Fans can watch one of their own former Lady Bonnies in red, white, and blue, but it won't be for Team USA. Former St. Bonaventure women's basketball star Steph Collins will participate in the 2012 Olympic Games in London as a member of Great Britain's women's basketball team, according to Great Britain's women's head coach who made the announcement over the weekend. Collins graduated from Bonaventure in 2006 and scored 1,421 points in her career, which now ranks ninth all-time in program history. St. Bonaventure women's head coach Jim Crowley says that Steph is a great player and that they are very proud of the person she is and how she carries herself. Crowley also added that he knows she will represent Bonaventure well. As Collins hopes to graduate from the Olympics with gold, some high school students from the area received their golden tickets to college, high school diplomas. Over the weekend, many schools around the Cattaraugus and Allegheny County held their graduation ceremonies. WVTT had a camera crew at Allegheny Limestone's graduation ceremony, which they held in the school's auditorium. The salutatorian for Allegheny Limestone, Kimberly Splendor, had a GPA of 102.57. I attended the graduation ceremony in Wellsville, New York. The salutator salutatorian for WHS was Mike Berardi, who helped lead the WHS football team in its first ever Section 5 title. The WHS graduates had great weather for their outdoor graduation. Wellsville had close to 100 graduates, and for both the ceremonies, the speeches were inspirational, the mood was joyful, and the weather was perfect. Not to mention, the ceremonies were relatively short, which is always a plus. That's definitely a plus when it comes to short graduation ceremonies. Uh, meantime, a 90-year-old woman in Missouri is proving it's never too late to try something new and daring in life. Justin Schmidt has our story. Skydiving always seemed like something Rosebud Garb wanted to try. I hope I got all the instructions right, because <laughs> I was kind of worried I didn't bring my hearing aids. For the past 20 years or so, Rosebud has been crossing things off her bucket list. I wanted to go on a hot air balloon. I got to do that on my 70th birthday. I wanted to go on a cruise, and that was my second thing I wanted to do. I wanted to Paris, and I did that in 95. I'm really, really excited, and I'm not scared a bit. I've got sense enough, I guess. Rosebud, at 90 years young, finally got to the end of her list. She jumped out of an airplane. As friends and family watched from the safety of the ground, they knew she was finally living her dream. That was wonderful. All right, that's what we like to hear. We're so thrilled for her. We're excited, we're happy, and she's down. But just because Rosebud's done with her list doesn't mean she'll stop looking for adventure. You know, when, the, when we were kids in school, and they say, what do, you, what do you want to come back as? I wanted to come back at Brood. She's certainly braver than I am. I don't, I, I don't mind the flying, but it's the jumping out of the airplane that I kind of have a problem with, Alexa. Yeah, I don't know. Even if I was 90 years old, I don't think I would do that either. <laughs> That's right. No sense in cha uh, taking chances. I, I spent some time down in Fayetteville, North Carolina, which is the home of the 82nd Airborne Division, and they you know, always tease the paratroopers about jumping out of perfectly good airplanes. Yeah. So... <laughs> Not for me. WVTT weather. We have uh, clear skies tonight with a low dipping down to 48 degrees. During the daytime on Tuesday, mostly sunny. Tuesday's high of 71. A little bit warmer as the rest of the week progresses. Wednesday's high temperature 76 under mostly sunny skies. Then on Thursday, again, mostly sunny with a high of 83. Possibly some scattered thunderstorms on Friday. Friday's high temperature 85 degrees. And that's a look at the WVTT Severe Weather Action Team forecast for all of us here at News Channel 25 WVTT. I'm Jeff Andrelonis. And I'm Alexa Olson. Thanks for watching and have a great night.